Yo, what's going on guys? Boomy here and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club aka Waifu Simulator 2018 And yes, you guys probably hate the voice But it's back Okay you three We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out Hold on a sec Is it just me? Or did you just say something strange just now? Eh Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviate from your usual catchphrases when addressing the club. C catchphrase! I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez! Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. <laughs> Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. <laughs> I'm dabbing off screen, by the way. You can probably, you, maybe you can hear the air of my dabs. Look, the only thing different is that Sierra isn't here. Ah, seems you're right. <sighs> Sierra always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah. Sounds like everyone's balance is thrown off when she's not around. Where the heck she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Now, Suki, please share some decency. Oh, come on! Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times, do not to go home with her. You pick the time she's not feeling well? So much she's being all lovey-dovey. Hey, I don't want to smash. She's a friend, okay? I friend-zoned her long ago. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Siari. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to force it. <sighs> that curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. We talked to her earlier and everything's fine. What'd she say? Anyway, we've read the rest of the festival prepositions, so... What'd she say, bitch? Let's start everyone we're doing for the weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Now Suku will be making cupcakes. Dank. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Oh yeah. Can you handle that by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all poetry pamphlets. Sarah will be helping me design them. Good for her, good for her, good for her. And as for you, Yuri? Yuri, you can... Um, come over to my house, and we can sing this. Guys, hold on. I'm actually going to turn my mic down slightly, because I've noticed as I'm talking, I'm blowing out my microphone. Hopefully, I didn't hurt anybody's ears. Anyway, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? Hi. I'm useless. No, no, no. That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. <sighs> now Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez. <laughs> even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sierra enough credit. But I can tell things are even harder with, with you and she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can be a leader of my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri. You got your beautiful handwriting, don't you? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Uh, about that, I... I love atmosphere! Huh. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be wonderful help, Yuri. Uh, but anyway, that just leaves you, Ryan. <laughs> the one who's truly useless. <laughs> Only thing I'm good for... <laughs> Uh, can't be done here. Haha, <laughs> don't say that. In fact, both Nasuke and Yuri have pretty heavy tasks to handle. Probably go a long way to helping one of them. You could always help me out as well. I'd be really appreciative of that. Ah, that's... It's not because she's just going to spend the week with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Ah, I suppose I'm mind a little bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I can give you. Nasuke... 
I friend zoned you too. So you better shut the fuck up because I ain't baking with your sorry ass. It's not like Mox is gonna give me a choice. You shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Bunch of excuses. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Ryan may be around feeling like make, make him a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. Oh, Natsuki, better shut the fuck up because you ain't say anything, bitch. How can it be to make a few decorations anyway? It sounds like you're just making excuses for Ryan to. Well, what are you saying? The extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't. Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Ryan inside how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really got to spend any chance with me yet, you know. So I'm sure he's interested in. You've literally just said. I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez, can we just sell this already? Yeah, Ryan, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Humph. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Oh! But you're still depressed. But I'm hanging with Monica this weekend. Should probably be helping Monica. Yay, you picked me. Hold on one sec. Yeah, Monica, you're the one who needs the least to help out all of us. Eh, but I agree with Natsuki. Not only is the work already most suitable for one person, but you already have Sayori as well. But Ryan's the one who, uh, that doesn't matter. We're the ones who scared him and picked him in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to be responsible assistant for the club, Monica. You shouldn't let any ulterior moves interfere with this decision. Uh, ulterior moves? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do, you know. We wouldn't be doing a good job if we make us work alone. Ah, uh, maybe that's true. I think of the club, Monica. If we wanted to advance succeed, we should probably appropriate it. Um, ah, uh, so you're gonna do the right thing, President? Okay, okay, I get it. <sighs> it's technically most logical for any help one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. <laughs> Bitch! I had a chance to get under that dress, and then I got cock blocked by a little manga reading. Bitch! Fine. I guess I'll go with Yuri. Well, I'll probably must say help with Yuri. Me? Are you serious? Why would you? Not Suki. I can already tell you about to say something mean. No! I was just saying, uh, So you're probably helping Yuri then? Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. Alright, bad habit over syncing these sort of things, so. I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Now, Suki, will you gonna handle bacon by yourself? I mean, yeah, I already said it would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone could tell Nasuki's feeling a bit shower. She should. I'm just gonna say it right now. I know it's, uh. She should, uh, not be so mean. So, is that everything we need to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited might not be the right word. So, I was looking forward to it a little bit. <laughs> Me too! Ha! Do you feel the same way, Ryan? Me. Ah, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it all turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, no. That's not what I meant at all. Uh, Anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Ryan picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They really go well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Well, why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Asuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. <laughs> the only thing I'm taken aback is that ass from Monica. Well, bam! I'm sorry. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri's trying to sound like Siori. Well, she didn't. Let's see. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell she tried to say something Siori would say a time like this. Because Siori always, always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No. Kind of appreciate it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. I'm going to say this. You better bet my cupcake's gonna be the best part of the whole event. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. It's a competition now, boys. Yeah. Come see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright. Let's get out of here, then. Everyone packs up their things.
I started to follow Monica and Asuka outdoors as they chat between each other. Uh, um. It's time. I turn around. Sorry. I realize I don't have any way to contact you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that'd be the best, yes. Alright then. We exchange phone numbers. Okay, then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday? Uh, my house? Is, uh, is that a problem? No, 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 not at all. My parents are just like, FEMALE! <laughs> I just thought I'd be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Ah, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I prefer going to your house. Alright, in that case, it won't be a problem. I decided not to press you for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either. I just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not near as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Ryan. I think we make a very productive team. Yeah, did you guys see the chicken drawing? That was all me. That was all your boy. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait. You don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you might have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason that with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But you're thinking yourself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You want me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight in my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door, and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri's gonna be coming to my house on this Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten priest to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me she was looking forward to it. Is this a chance to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off it. I seriously can't wait. Huh. <laughs> I'm stoked. Can you tell that I'm stoked? It's already Sunday. I began increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I kept telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt she'll be open for a little bit when she says the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely appreciative at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard anything from Yuri since she left the club early the other day. Not like we check each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Siori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Siori's feelings aside when she might need me? Probably not. I decided to visit Siori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Yuri's house, I knock on the door for entering it myself. Again. We used to play so often that we made it happen to simply enter each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Siori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. She gonna be knocking? It's already strange for her to not run down and greet me. I have to her bedroom where I finally found her. Siori? Hi, Ryan. I sit down in her room. Siori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Siori's room is messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals in the wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but wait, how'd you know that? Siri has already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Serious stares in a random direction. Everything about behavior is uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So? Sarah smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Ryan. Eh? Why can't I just be like, it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, 
if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't be worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this, this is my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think this is why the world decided for you to come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Siori! I grab Siori by his shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you being like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. Ah ha ha ha. Siri gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Ryan. Oh. Maybe she's a trap. But traps ain't gay. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you, what are you talking about, Siri? <laughs> you're really just making make me say it, aren't you, Ryan? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. <sighs> Fuck. That hits close to home, man. I can relate to you now, Siori. Did you know that? Why'd you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. Reason is there anything where I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy in carrying waste to have them spend time with me? These are all thoughts that I have. I'm gonna be completely honest, like... Damn, this is... Getting deep now. That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worried about me. Fucking shit, dude. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How's it possible Sierra kept me from this the entire time I've known her? Does she really want... Does she really want so badly for me to just think not about her? Why, Siri? Eh? Why is it you never told me about this? Now it feels like you've betrayed me as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All I had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Ryan. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you have to waste your effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I want so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discover something else too. Seeing you make friends like a close friend one in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right. That I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Siori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Ryan. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped us, if anything, could always be as it was. But I was selfish. If I showed you what a horrible person I am, tears streaked down Siori's face. Oh, let me wipe those right away. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. I was punched by my heart hurting in the way I couldn't understand. Now you come here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Siori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Uh, Ryan? Sorry. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I made friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Ryan. Sierra isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sierra's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this, Ryan. I... She manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but I want for her to know that I care. If you have to... Oh, sorry. If you have it in you to cut yourself selfish, then hell, let me selfish be too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, she finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Ryan. 
The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain, but your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary too. She already lets me go. And she does show, I will let go as well. The festival's tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like me to spend it all with you? Um, uh, it's what I want. I promise. I, I think that'd be nice then. Yeah. She wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day with her, I would. Of all days, that's be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I would really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for you to meet me in my house. At the very least, did you want to come along and help out? It'd be fun. To my surprise, she already shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that'd be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah, uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sierra next to her house. On the way home, I find myself feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about when you're about to come over, too. I think Sierra is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. We're definitely going to go have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. And that's banging Yuri. I gotta save this, man. I won't have the opportunity to come back to it in case I fuck up. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Y Yuri? Ah, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Ah, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yes, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. I take you to my room. Whoa, look at my batch pad, dude. I got my PC over there. I got my bed. We could be spending a lot of time in that bed. Anyway, I got the TV. We're rocking. First thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes you feel anxious. It's so clean. Haha, <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so that's very considerate of you to do. Ah, uh, no. It'd be really embarrassing for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm? Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh, that'd be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't don't look in there. I snatch your wrist, which would process opening the desk drawer of mine. Ah! I'm sorry. I was thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both her hands firmly in her lap, as if to make sure she's keeping track of them. So, uh, should we get started? Ah, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course! I want to take care of our guests to a faraway place. Although, men will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to pr provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget you're a pretty intense person. Ah. Intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. Just something that I'd like... That I'd like about you, actually. Is that so? It makes me feel relieved and kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. I did something shopping the other way here and I happened to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows with black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that'd be amazing, don't you? Yeah, be really neat. But what's the wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a, dif a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favorite contribu contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. Just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole in the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? Wow, I am a slayer. Wow, so it smells beautiful. It's a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. 
I chose Jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer. Your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. But you know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the original, the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I like to do is write a different word on each piece of paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will that be used for? Well, I'm going to cut the pieces of ribbon and hang them from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons and create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract them to peek inside. That's really creative! Wow! I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose it do get a little intense, as you put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Just me, or is she more relaxed than when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's just the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys? Boy! Boy! Ryan in the game! Don't be such a fucking idiot! Boy! She wants... The dick! Here's a marker, Ryan. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once you finish cutting the ribbons. Uh, Alright. Sing on the floor together, two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character in each paper, doing my best to manage not my band handwriting. My stutter returns. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon from her desired length. Then, she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. That's a knife! It looks really fancy. Ah, uh, well... Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're gonna think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know. If you promise, don't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. Thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I don't like the way that sounds. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe? Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you get about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's really a cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Your relaxes your expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Your carefully hands me a knife with the handle facing me. I take and turn it in my hands. It feels heavy, extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with the, my index figure. Ew! Ryan, why'd you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. Barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. It's a knife extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah, she stares at it and nilsly fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah! Without warning, puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. I feel her tongue crawl on my finger. Shit, dude. Sorry, I, I instinctively pull back my hand. Oh, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri. That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, sure. It was a little weird, but it took me by surprise. But I guess she's just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. She's trying to recover from this the rest of the afternoon. Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I'll do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. Ryan! Did you really just do that? Nah, we're even. Yuri looks at me like I did something wrong. Haha, <laughs> I knew that'd be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Ryan. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? You're calling me weird? Yeah, bitch! What you call me weird for? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, sorry, I stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension's quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I'm continuing to make progress on the paper. 
Nope, she's gone. We lay them all on the side. Looks better than I expected. It'd be effective as a door curtain. Looks great. Good thing you come up with this, Yuri. Ah, thanks. She's back. Something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri had me, asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. That's kind of a tongue twister. Kit of watercolor paint tablets. You'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a bit of water, okay? If you fill the cups too much, it'll be too diluted. Good work. Taking your advice, I decided to use a small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes! I come and see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeves, pulling it back over her arm. Ah, uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. It's too hot in here or anything? Ah, uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So... I thought we would do something simple that looked very nice. I like to paint a gradient across the pattern, serving the colors for the sunrise and daytime and the sunset and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. You can hang on the wall behind the podium in front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel opposite sides so we don't get any to wave each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the barren to serve as a color guys we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with a watercolors physically art class project we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, I'm sorry this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean it like that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself, For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like it when I can spend time with one other person. Even with something simple like reading, it doesn't matter if we don't talk much. This time a friend next to me makes me feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if you and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I can feel that thing way about things like anime and games. Huh, <laughs> anime and games! This guy is booing from the game! You're simply sharing an experience with something that makes me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. I just gotta keep saving the game because I, it crashed once. Hasn't done it since. But I'm still nervous. I don't want to re record this. Yuri leans over for the banner, grabbing an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time and cause my head to bump into hers. Kia! So sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, 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 no. I'm not hurt. You just startled me, that's all. Sorry. I should have asked for you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah. I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush over and fetch a small towel, then dampen it with hot water. I turn to my room and kneel down in front of her. Oh my gosh! This intimacy. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with a towel. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand, but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait, eh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Uh, I keep my hand against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize it from when she reads her books. Someone says she's lost in a daze, enveloped in her by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? This is the aroma of jasmine oil, give me a Disney feeling. Your gentle finger test wrapped around my wrist, sending a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, I'm feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent and forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's ex example. <laughs> that should do it. I finished filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Look at the battle as a whole. It's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out even better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add lettering now? Ah, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true. But will that take a while? Well, 
Perhaps it would be the best to leave it here, then have you bring it on in the morning? I can do it by letting the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. No! Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. Haha. <laughs> you say it like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, no, it's not that. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah. So you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we could have the extra time after finishing the work. Well... Yuri thinks to herself. I think it would be too responsible for me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there'd be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the most important thing is we got everything done, right? Yeah, so... I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It's not like she really gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxing environment. Doesn't mean it's the last time it could happen. Hell nah. Once Yuri packs up walking out the front door, thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, she fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. Can I say it without thinking? About today, it's fine with as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want. You can come over. We could go out somewhere. Oh, I forget you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my word, you simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so you're very thoughtful, Ryan. Yuri takes a step close to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. Whoa! Hello! She's close. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? As Yuri suddenly pulls back. Sayori! Eh? What the fuck? Cock block! Eh? Hi, Ryan. Sayori? Just now, we, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Ryan. I stopped by to say hi. Uh... It's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. We'll be together at the festival tomorrow, so that's fine, right? Of course! Stary beams! Yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. She's out of here. She waves goodbye after her. Sorry, I thought she didn't want to come over today. Ah, uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but I imagine it was being really mean to me, so I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you're having with Yuri, how close you got to her, makes me really happy. She made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sierra's face. No, it was a happy moment, man. She's so sad. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Ryan? I was supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart's splitting in half? It hurts so much. It hurts so much. It'd be so much better if I could just disappear. Don't say that. Don't you dare. It's true, Ryan. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. Don't you dare say that, Siori. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. You're not selfish, Siori. You're being a very good friend. Monica's right. I should just... Hello? I'm sorry, my game crashed. I should just... Monica? Monica's right about what? Sorry. What I said before is true. I'm not gonna let this continue. My game keeps crashing. <laughs> not crashing, but closing. I have. I gotta save this before it goes into like a hard crash or something. Okay. Care about you is like what burden your mind's making it to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes my entire lifetime, I'm gonna be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But. but Sarah looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Ryan. Uh, I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Siori? I'm, I'm scared that, that that I might like you more than you like me. Siori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Ryan? I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And that's, that's enough, Siori. I, I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sierra's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I'd always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sierra nods. Even if you don't understand our own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. Ugh. Dearest friend, I'm sorry, I, I friend zoned her, man. You will always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things like they've always been. 
Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happy you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult things right now, but please trust me. I know it's best. I'll do it. Make it happen in the end. I promise I'll get things back the way they were. I... I see. So you're forced to smile, an incredibly pained expression. Ah, <laughs> is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? Motherfucker. I should write a poem about this. Sorry. It's okay. It's just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please, please don't worry about the stupid feelings. I know you're right. No so time to be no happiness down the path. That's why I came here. So I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing. That's right. I just want to go back to things the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know us better than me. For, you really do know me better than anyone, Ryan. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So... She finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. <coughs> Clutching her head in both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked I don't know how to react. She looks over her shoulder, flashes me a one more weak smile, and turns around running off. Sorry! I left help with staying in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more I could have done. I must I do support Sarah through her feelings and help her down the path that's right. But I have so much trouble understanding Sarah's feelings as she is. And I can't confront her. I keep wondering if I should do something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plug me until things are back the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sierra will always be my dearest friend. I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. Alright. I'm going to end this episode right here. <sighs> oh, fuck. Now I do feel bad, man. But I don't love her, dude. I can't lie to her. Because if I lie to her, then I lose all my track with Yuri. And I can't smash Monica. Like, the thing with this scenario is I don't want to date her or say that I love her and then hurt her even more. You know? I was thinking about her, man. I was thinking about her. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club, make sure you leave a like down below as always. Comment. Whatever, this time I have no prompt. Subscribe for more. And the next episode, we're going to go to the festival and see what happens. Bye. Now I feel bad. <laughs>